What is up and welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be working on that. So we're cleaning up the engine block today. So what I've done is I've just started off taping off some of the sections and all those places I don't want water to go. So like the oil and then same with the oil filter and then the coolant. Um, I left these open because if water gets in coolant, it's not that big of a deal, but if it gets in the oil, like here or here, that's a bigger deal. I've also taped off the exhaust um, manifold, I guess, connection or header or outlet, whatever you want to call it. And then I've also just quickly put this plate back on so it's sealed back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish taping this up and then we are going to clean it up. But first I'll go through some of the stuff that I'm going to be cleaning up or cleaning it with and then we'll flip it over, do a little time lapse of getting this ready and then I'll show you the process of I'm cleaning it. So I am using a bunch of different cleaners today. Um, one of the biggest ones I'm going to be using is Brake Clean because Adrian recommends it and that's what most people recommend. Um, so it's just, you know, your standard brake cleaner or whatever. But I'll also be using Dawn Soap because Dawn Soap works great. And then a bunch of different scrub brushes, Scotch Brite, toothbrushes to get in all the little cracks and stuff. So we're gonna have a nice clean engine block to put it back in Project Daily. So it just makes sense once you have the block out and tore down like this, you might as well clean it up because it's out. Anyways, I'm gonna tape off the other side and then I'll catch you guys on the other side. There we go, everything is taped up and ready to go. So, time to spray brake cleaner and stuff, and I'm also be using the pressure washer. Because of the, just the gas and stuff, I'll also be using Varsol and spray painting. I actually picked up something that I'd recommend any of you guys are working a lot with cars, get a respirator because we're just working with the chemicals and especially working in this garage when it's closed in the winter and stuff, I just found a bandana was not doing it. And I also got some organic filters for that, so we are all good to go. Um, so essentially, I'm gonna keep the camera really far away because I am working with um, brake clean, Varsol and stuff, I just don't wanna get on the camera. So I'm gonna get my long lens and put it on there and we're gonna jump into time lapse and do that. But I'll just let you know what my plan is. So let's break down with some Varsol and brake cleaner. Then we're gonna take um, some scrub brushes, scrub it down, and then we're gonna pressure wash it and then repeat till it's pretty as we want it to be. I'm trying to look at, make it look really good so that's the plan, so we might do it three or four times till we get it good and clean. In addition, that gray mat right there, that is just um, keeping it from hitting the driveway because the driveway has been sealed. And then I'm kind of collecting it, so it's actually not going in our waterways, so you guys don't have to worry about it because I did get some comments like that last time, which is a valid point, um, even though it's super diluted. I'm just gonna collect it anyways and then drop it off when I do my oil. So. Time to gear up and then start spraying. So if you guys don't know, a respirator essentially filters the air for you. I'm assuming what most of you know. So I, this is just a 3M 6000 or 620. So it's this medium size and it fits absolutely perfect. So that's what we're rocking today with some of these organic canisters. So these are only supposed to last eight hours, but it's if you're working like in heavy, like dangerous environments. We're not working in super dangerous environments. So these will be good for probably a couple months till we finish the job. Also be wearing these painting, which is a big thing why I bought this, is painting is just paint fumes are not fun. So got these. Um, so really, all you do is you put them like, oh, you got it, put it from the bottom, then you twist it up. There you go, and you see it lock in place. And then the nice thing is you do that and then I can speak to you guys because you can't hear me under this. And then what I'll be using is I'll using nitrate gloves. Finally got some in the shop so we can actually work on cars without getting your hands extremely greasy. So put these on and then I'm wearing sunglasses as my safety glasses. But if I was doing more, I'd wear a faceplate.
actually have the top side of the engine all done. As you see in that, in that time lapse, I just flipped it over. And now we're gonna work on the bottom, the sides, um, the front cover, that's super easy. And then back here. Actually, back here is looking pretty good because I did use some brake cleaner. This stuff goes through super quickly, but it's super effective. So I'm trying not to use it all. I'm almost out, so I'm kind of using it where I can't get to it. So my strategy essentially is you spray brake clean where you can't get to, like in these little grooves. And then you take Varsol, so paint thinner. I have it in a little fantastic bottle. Just spray it around. And then we take our little toothbrush or a brush and then kind of get it in these grooves. And then for any flat part, I actually end up using a pad of Scotch-Brite. So all these flat parts here I've been using and then um, you guys can't really see, but it's pretty clean actually down there. So there's the bottom of the, or top of the block and it's shiny, but it's not super shiny. And that's just because of the way that block's been sitting in oil for years and years. So I'm gonna leave it like that because we all know this is eventually gonna be upgraded, so we'll leave this for now and just get it cleaned up as best as we can. Another way you do this is you put it in one of those hot bath machines, but that's expensive and that would require you to disassemble the whole thing and I'm not going to do that. So, you guys see the time lapse of my process on the top side, which is a little more interesting than down here um, because we already have the pan cleaned up. So I will catch up to you guys once we have it done like that. So there we go, the engine block is all cleaned up. Check out the how shiny the heads are, guys. There's still a little paint that I actually paint, but it was not coming off with any of my solutions. But the rest of the block looks pretty good. The worst part is probably right here. That's just because, well, I can't get in there and it was so dirty before. I started using different cleaners to see what worked best and they all kind of worked about the same. Some of the paint is peeling off our pan, but I'm not too picky because this is the sock pan. It's not the greatest pan anyways. The block itself looks really good. There's the bottom side. As you can see, it's still stained kind of, but that's to be expected with how old this block is. I didn't lose any of my tape, so we're all good there. This is all good. Um, I scratched this. If you guys look, I scratched it with scotch by, by accident, so I don't know what I'll do there. I might just clean it up, or put some of that black armor all stuff and call it a day, because it's usually not that bad. Anyways, now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna inspect the other side, and then that's gonna be it for today. Unfortunately, this took so much longer than I was expecting just because how dirty everything was. Um, I didn't record a time lapse for that, so this is probably gonna be a quite a short video, but there we go, we have the engine block all cleaned up. So let's take it um, over and check it out. And there we go. So let's take a look at the top of the block, but it actually doesn't look too bad. And there's the top. Remember what it looked like before? all covered in dirt and grime. Well, now it's actually silver. Um, there's a lot of these weird like little flakes. Um, it almost looks like the block's cracked, but it's from the casting. So I'm not a hun super, super picky, but that looks so much better. And then if we do have a leak, we can locate it. Around this corner, there's a lot of like dust. So what I think I'm gonna do is take an air compressor and blow it out. But other than that, it looks so, so much better. I'm so happy we did this before we started putting it back together. There's a little bit of blue paint there I'll probably clean up. But other than that, I think I'm gonna do right now is put some armor on, on here just to make it a little bit prettier. And then we're gonna call it a day. So there we go, I just put some armor all on it. It makes it look pretty good actually. You can't even tell that it's scratched up a little bit, but I think that's where we're gonna leave it today. Let's just do a nice little walk around of everything. So as you guys can tell, much cleaner, much cleaner back there. We're gonna have to clean that up when we do the rear seal very soon. But other than that, all the tape held, so hopefully no water in anything. Well, water is okay in these because this is coolant and coolant, so it's not that bad. Now the only thing that sticks out like a th sore thumb is all these rusted bolts, but you know what? They're gonna be good for now. So there you go, that's how you really clean up your engine. If you really want it cleaner than we did um, about a year ago, you gotta take it out and clean it up with um, a whole bunch of sulfate and stuff. But overall, I'm extremely happy with the way this came out. It's gonna be just so much easier to diagnose if we have any oil problems. And it just looks a lot better in the engine bay. One more thing before we go is get yourself one of these guys. If you are working on cars, get yourself a respirator because the whole day I was working with like, Barcel and all these solvents and stuff 
couldn't smell it, it had no effect on me. Usually I'll have a headache after it because of all the solvents, but because of this respirator with these are organic canisters, they are absolutely perfect. It is amazing. So get yourself one of these if you're working on cars, even if paint and stuff, respirator is a good idea to have. But there we go. So next episode, we will probably be starting to put it back together. I have parts on order for this and we should be getting ready. We have about a month till the car show we go to go check out and then we have about 10 days after that where this engine's got to be in project daily and it's got to be driving and tuned so until next time peace out and stay humble